after the false messiah is killed. Then Allah addresses the true messiah and says to him, go up the mountain, which is a mountain in Jerusalem. The last wave of Gog and Magog are now released. And they surround the true Messiah, the son of Mary. They shoot their arrows up into the sky. This is symbolic language. Don't ask me to explain it because I can't. But there is a young scholar of Islam who will come, maybe he's a baby now. 30 years from day he, today he'll come and explain it to you inshallah. They shoot their arrows up into the sky. They say, we've killed those who are on earth. Now let us kill those who are in the heavens above. God and my God. And Allah allows the arrows to come back down with blood on them. Don't ask me to explain this because I cannot explain it. Events are going to unfold tomorrow which will help us to understand this. Then the son of Mary raises his hands and he prays to the Lord to destroy them, God and Mother. And then Allah sends a little creature, a little insect, which attacks them at the back of their neck. And all those who are Gog and Magog will all fall down. The rest of mankind, no, only God and Magog. They'll all fall down, paralyzed, and by next morning they'll be all dead. I thought maybe it's because of the collapse of the immune system. So the body could not resist an attack. But someone attending my class last Thursday, a medical doctor, she had a brilliant idea. And I've lectured on this subject around the world. Nobody thought about it until this sister, a medical doctor, said it in my class two, two Thursdays ago. Where was that wall? Caucasus Mountains. So when Gog and Magog are released, we find them out there. Caucasus Mountains. Do we find a people by the Caucasus Mountains who display that kind of power? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. An indestructible power. They are there. Who are they? The Khaza tribes. K-H-A-Z-A-R. And they are the people who converted, must have been on a Sunday morning, converted and became Jews. One, a white people, European people, who don't even have one drop of Semitic blood in their veins. And they became Jews. Yes, it happened. These Khaza tribes, are the people who became European Jews. And they are the ones who were able to block the Muslim army as a wall which was impenetrable, displaying that power. They are the ones who spread out into Europe, Eastern Europe and then Western Europe, corrupted Europe into control of Europe. And then they went over across the ocean into control of the United States. And today they control the US Congress and the Senate. They are the ones who created the Zionist movement. I lectured on this subject in a city called Worcester in Massachusetts, close to Boston. And a medical doctor in Worcester pointed out to me that there was a conference on these Jews, they're called the Ashkenazi Jews. And in that medical conference, the evidence came out that these people were genetically unique amongst all of mankind. They were genetically different from all the rest of mankind. The Ashkenazi, the white Jew. And so the sister in my class, a medical doctor, said, 
It could be because of their genetic constitution, not because of the immune system in collapse, that they could not survive the attack. When Gog and Magog are all destroyed, then their bodies begin to deteriorate, to decompose, to smell, to rot, meaning it's a bacterial attack, not a viral attack. Then the son of Mary raises his hand and he prays to Allah to get rid of them. And Allah then sends birds with big necks like black camels, says the hadith. Maybe the eggs are in some mountain top where there is ice and snow. And global warming will cause these eggs to hatch. Hmm? And so these birds now come and lift these bodies and take them and dump them where Allah ordains that they be dumped. And so that's goodbye to the world order of Gog and Magog. And so now it's a level playing field, a level battlefield. No longer the white world order with his cruise missiles. At this time, said the Prophet of Islam, when you see the black flags coming out of Khorasan, he said, go and join the army. Even if you have to crawl over ice. Would someone please tell that to the president of Asja for me? Go and join the army. Even if you have to crawl over ice. Because no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem. And when Imran lectures in this country, Imran is lecturing to build that army in the hearts of the young of this country. Let it be known plainly and clearly. I'm not hiding. Go join our army. Because no one will be able to stop our army until it reaches Jerusalem. I didn't say that. The blessed prophet said that. Then said he, لَتُقَاتِلُنَّ الْيَهُودِ You will most certainly fight the Jews. Not all Jews. Those Jews who are fighting you. وَلَتَقْتُلُنَّهُ You will most certainly kill them. They will be on the run on that day. Today they have helicopter gunships. And they are using missiles to kill a paralyzed man on a wheelchair who has just come out of a masjid and a morning prayer. If we had done that, the New York Times would have put us front page. Look at these barbarian Muslims. But they could do that. And these hypocrites would tolerate it. Yes, today they are using missiles to kill paralyzed men sitting on a wheelchair who's just come out of the house of God. I can pray. But on that day, it will be different. And so do not lose heart. And do not give up. And do not despair. Because there is a tomorrow which is coming. When victory will come to those who have faith in their heart. And who have the patience to bear the evil storm which is blowing through the world. At that time even the stones will speak. Ya Muslim, Hadha Yahudiyun warayid is a Jew hiding behind me for ta'ala faktu. So come and kill him. And so the Holy Land will be liberated by a Muslim army. The state of Israel, the imposter state of Israel will be destroyed. And the holy Israel of David and of Solomon, alayhi salam, that holy Israel will be restored. And it will become the ruling state of the world. And the religion of Abraham, which is what we follow, and is the religion which we follow, the religion of our father, Abraham, that religion will reign supreme in the world and the true Messiah will rule the world from Jerusalem 
with a rule which will be eternal. Brothers and sisters, this has been God and Magog in the Quran. Let me remind you there is a whole chapter of this book which is entitled God and Magog in the Quran. And let me remind you one more time about the Islamic travelogue. We should have one copy for each person here. Please help us by taking a copy and paying for it so that we can pay the, uh, the uh, print free, inshallah. Thank you. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka inta samir alim wa tub alayna ya mumana inna ka inta tawa rahim. Barakhmatu ya rahim wa rahim. Amin.